And she's getting like, she's getting, they keep mentioning how she'll have wire transfers or Venmo yeah. or something yeah. sent to different places. And it's yeah. almost never from her. It's no. from some other person who yeah. she's managed to get like social capital with. Exactly. And they are now sending money on her behalf. So exactly. she's like, it's like, it's like a credit card that's you're trying to pay off a credit card with another credit card type of situation. Right. She's, right. she's kind of doing that from people to people to people. It's, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's, 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 it's not good. So, um, you know, Anna does this to a bunch of wealthy people, um, and, 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 you know, a bunch of institutions, which honestly, like Sabelle and I have established, if these guys would just follow their own rules, none of this would happen. So they, um, in my, at least in my perception, are not the real victims here. The real victims are the regular people that Anna managed to con, right? And so mm. one of these people, um, I believe, um, was oh, Rachel yeah. Rachel Williams. And the story of wow. Rachel Williams is especially sad because, um, you know, this had nothing at all to do with her. So, okay, so back to the story. So Anna decides that she's going to go on an exotic trip, right? She's going to go on this exotic trip out of country. Um, and um, she's going to go with her personal trainer uh, slash life coach <laughs> and um, a videographer to sort of document the behind the scenes of the the making trip of, to Marrakesh, of, yeah. of the of the Anna Delvey Foundation, right? So, okay, right. yep, sounds like a good job. Uh, probably you've asked around, right? Everyone knows who Anna Delvey is. Everyone right? she, seems to know. Yeah, exactly. So, okay. Yeah, of yeah. Course, Apparently yeah. she was like on a talking basis with a mm -hmm. lot of celebrities. Yeah. She obviously had built the connections. That's yeah. for sure. Yeah. So, I mean, it's like, you know, one of the most popular, one of the most famous people in your city saying, Hey, you want this job with me for two weeks uh, to go on this gig? You're going to be like, of course, yes, this is great exposure for me. I'm going to get to work with the, you know, the famous Anna Delvey, right? Of course I'm going to go right. do that, right? So, right, and right, of right, course right. it never crosses your mind that you're not going to get paid, right? So again, they go to Marrakesh, I believe it was. Um, and uh, while they're there, of course the usual happens. Credit card. Oh, the card doesn't work through. The oh no. Credit card situation with the hotel. They're about to yeah, kick yeah. her out, all that yeah. stuff. Rachel. Oh no, Rachel, would you mind putting this on your MS? Right. The one right. you use for your work expenses? I'll cover you exactly. as soon as we get back to New York. Exactly. And how much was this? This was up to the tune of 62 Thousand. $62,000. Yeah, $62,000. Now, this at the time was said to be more than a year's pay for Rachel. But Rachel again, you think was about it. a normal person. Person, like exactly. Exactly. And she right. got grifted. Exactly. And and so uh, you're Rachel, right? And you're like, okay, we're only here for you know a few more days. Of course, as soon as we get back stateside, right? Um, Anna's going to sort this out. This is Anna Delvey, the... Anna Delvey, right? Yeah. Of course, there's no yeah. there's no part of my brain that's thinking, am I going to get paid? No, it's, yeah, Anna was in a pinch, um, and I happened to have my Amex, so I was able to step in, and crisis averted. Of course, when we get back stateside, she's going to call her bankers, and they're going to sort out whatever it is that yeah. needs to be sorted out, and it will be fine, right? Um, guys, she never saw that money. The, the most she ever got back from Anna um, was... Um, a month later, 5K. she got $5,000 out of $62,000, right? That for is, someone who doesn't make that in a year. Yeah. In a year. Yeah. That is beyond despicable. Um, I feel like of all the things that I've heard um, of, of, of this individual- That's and life all the, ruining. And all the, exactly. And all the things she's done. I, I Yeah. Look- Children, don't defraud banks and don't defraud hotels, right? Uh, but most especially, don't defraud regular people, right? Um, yeah. Anna was defrauding, you know, and conning very super rich, wealthy people, celebrities, people who you could argue they could afford it. And it's their fault that they didn't do their due diligence and stuff. But normal people, like, essentially, you're on this trip and this is your boss. 
asking you to take care of a situation of what for her was a minor situation, right? Oh, yes, yeah, and it says just, in the article that they were apparently yeah. like security had shown up at the room to forcefully yeah, move. Yeah, it was them getting out. ugly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like either give your card or yeah. you're about to be kicked on the street in Morocco. Right, right. right. A foreign country. And it's like, and... look, I will take care of this. Like, as soon as we get back stateside, of course, like you will write us Anna as my boss. I'm here working for her. Like, it's it's fine. It's yeah. fine. Take my Amex. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Right. Um, right. So they charge her 62 grand and, you know, she never sees most of that money ever again. Right. So, mm-hmm. again, we and can apparently talk about- she covered even more after that. She covered shopping. She covered other trips because Anna was like, oh, my card isn't working, but I'll get you right. as soon as we get back. Right. Right. We already established that my card has an issue in Morocco. So as long as we're here, whatever we do here that requires me to pay, you got this, right? As, and as soon as we get back to New York, you know, everything is sorted, right? So again, really, really messed up. Uh, from whatever angle you, you you look at this, really, really messed up. So yeah, yeah, mm. yeah. That's the one person, honestly, that's the one person um, that we know of, Right. That we yeah, know of, that, we that know has of. come forward, exactly, that has come forward with her story. That's the one person um, that I feel bad for. The banks, Well, the because hotels. she's the only, one who, the only one who was taken into bankruptcy because of it. Right. right? I mean, realistically, right. like, right. Let's, let's, not, let's not play, let's not put it in gentle terms of relativities. It is mm-hmm. simply that she was the only person right. who we know of who went bankrupt. Right. right. Probably. And has probably right. had her life irrevocably damaged right right um right because she was conned whereas the rest of the folks probably just saw a balance change Mm -hmm. Mm mm-hmm 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 yeah i mean not even and that's why she was trying to go for those circles right because she was trying to she knew that these were Wealthy people with the wealthier the people are, the less likely they are to remember that you owe them three hundred dollars or five thousand dollars or whatever because they have millions, literally millions, right? So they're not going to remember that one time at this club where your card in quote didn't work, where they had to foot the bill and you said, Oh, I'm gonna Venmo Venmo you and you never got around to it, right? It's like yeah, yeah. of course, like, yeah, no, that's yeah, that's, I mean, that's, in all likely in all likelihood, let's let's think it through, right? You're you're pretty you're a pretty woman and you're out at a out for dinner or whatever. You're with a you know, a guy and he's well off and oh, your card isn't working, he'll cover it and you'll be like, Oh, right. I'll venue mow you and he'll just be like, Oh, don't worry about it, right? Because right. in his circle um, you know, covering 300, 400, 500, maybe a thousand right. bucks. It's really not that big of a right. deal. Right. And I think we all have friends who, who probably have those sorts of situations. And we're familiar right. with how the reality is that for some people, right. numbers can be different. Right. It's, it's ridiculous. So I think she should be studied because, you know, she definitely um, succeeded to a much, much higher degree than most people have any right to hope uh, for. Right, she succeeded for a long time at this. Um, she was mm-hmm. all over the place in New York and beyond, right? Uh, mm-hmm. And she very well might have succeeded if, if the hotel situation hadn't become, you know, what it was, where she was literally kicked out and she was homeless, um, you know, and she needed to start crashing on people's couches. She might have got away with it. She might have she gone. Might have. All the way, right? She had something yeah. here. This was a plan. She could have become. Who knows? It may. Right. She may have become an art mogul because. Right, right. I. My next thought is that. Hey, how how do you decide that this new artist's art is worth this much? Well, that, that's what I'm saying. How say. much did the last person pay for it? That's what I'm saying. And if you've got it's the right so connections, then it's all. So you know, you can. Uh, I mean, right. from what I've seen, right. Uh, right. Very, very, very briefly, and I'm sure you've seen this as well. But like, often it's it's um, smaller circles of the elites that kind of right. decide whether or not, right? And you know, an artist is really going to make it, depending mm. on. Mm. Obviously, this is I'm talking about a much smaller world. But like in New York, mm. if she's got mm. a friend and she's like, "Oh, look at this art piece. This is amazing. Right. This guy's worked right. with my foundation. Here's his right. story." Right. Um. And, you know, I think his piece is definitely worth at least 15K right. for a painting, which right. as far as I know, is not, it's not an uncommon amount at all. 
Right. Even, even, I mean, so. potentially, she could have built a dynasty on this business, on this foundation, if it had yeah. worked. If she had it's just been work. able to cross cross that threshold, um, we could be talking about something very different right now. We could be we could be talking about a, another Timothy Dexter, right? Someone who who did a con, or well, you know, she, Timothy didn't con anyone, but you know, someone who who set out on something they had no experience uh, in and ended up making it really, really big. So, um, yeah, I guess that was what she was counting on, but it didn't work work out quite like that. So um, here we are talking about Anna Sorokin slash Anna Delvey with the Netflix and the HBO. I've checked out the Netflix trailer, by the way, for- Oh, it's out? Yeah. Oh yeah, the Netflix. No, no, no. So so the actual series- No, I mean the trailer's out. out. Oh yeah. It's called uh, Inventing Anna um, is, is oh, the okay. series. I've checked that out. It looks like it's going to be really good. Uh, but mm. then again, I, I just fear- that there are people who watch stuff like this and take away the wrong thing. <laughs> because all yeah. this glamorizing and fetishizing of, of, of you know, um, bad behavior, honestly, I feel like, uh, I don't know how I feel about it. Like, obviously, I'm, I'm watching this stuff for, for um, educative purposes. Like, I want to get into the minds of these people. I want to understand. But there are people who see that as a viable life plan, right? So it kind of makes me a little concerned. But, you know, you know, you can't regulate entertainment, you know, what people should have access to or not. But, you know, that's, yeah, the the, the trailer is is really good. So, yeah. So let's talk about, you know, um, her trial and imprisonment and all of that. But before we do that, let's take another quick break and we will be right back. Don't go nowhere. All right. So we are back again. And, hello. Uh, <laughs> here to hello, wrap this hello. up. Let's talk about the trial uh, and conviction and, you know, the sentencing she got. And for that, we're going to turn back to the Wikipedia. <laughs> um, and it said, on December 18, 2018, Sorokin appeared in New York City criminal court and rejected a plea deal that offered three to nine years in prison. A March 20, 2019 trial date was initially set up by Judge Diane Kiesel. Sorokin's defense mm. attorney arranged for a professional stylist to source outfits is for so her court funny. appearance. So even <laughs> while she was in trouble, guys, even oh, while she was man. in trouble, she needed to keep this going. She needed to still be oh, in only the finest of things because, of course, there were going to be camera crews and the newspaper yeah, was going to yeah, be there. Yeah, she could not be seen to not be well-dressed. Mm, never be caught on fresh, my friend. Never be caught on fresh. <laughs> you know? You you know, it's, it's, you know, it's, you know, so, so it says uh, arrange for a professional stylist to source outfits for her court appearances, stating source that, outfits. stating that it is imperative that Anna dress appropriately for the trial, right? In response, the prosecutor said Sorokin showed more concern for her attire than the emotions of those she heard and seemed to revel at the plight of her victims. Right. So, um, again, this is just, you know, back to that video clip that you you watched earlier, Sibel, right? Yeah, we watched a video clip on the BBC article. Right, Um, right. So you were saying as you were watching that, you were watching her expression and it seemed like she had zero remorse, right? She had, you know, no empathy, no no feeling of, oh, I shouldn't have done this, right? And so that's what this is saying as well, right? Yeah, I mean, I I'm not one. I don't have the expertise to really say why, but it definitely she did not look like she was emotionally invested in what she was saying at all. Mm-hmm. It just mm-hmm. yeah, almost felt like it was scripted the way she was responding. Um, yeah. Right. So yeah, she did. It definitely yeah. did not seem yep. sincere. That's right. for sure. Right. So, uh, you know, again, of course she was indicted, um, and she spent some time in Rikers, um, and then she was moved to the New York State Department of Corrections, um, and um, it says here, Sorokin was released from prison 
on February 11, 2021, mm -hmm. right? So right, this right. year. In March 2021, she was taken back into custody by Immigration and Customs Enforcement, ICE. ICE. For overstating oh, wow. her visa.